Some homes are designed for the functionality of elders and some for trendy young millennials and very few are designed and built for the comfort of everyone. One must carefully plan or reconsider the functionality of a kid friendly home because a kid is always bubbling with energy and lives carefree. Others in the house can adjust to a little discomfort since we understand the shortcomings but a kid won't be able to. That's why in this video, I'm providing in-depth things to consider to make a home a kid-friendly home. My name is Balaji Badrinath and I'm a real estate specialist. If you are new here, please click the subscribe now button and press the bell icon so that I can notify you with all my new videos as and when they are posted. Now let's dive into our checklist. Sharp edges. Watch out for the sharp edges around the wall coverings, wooden panels, TV cabinets, design archives, door frames, study tables, bookshelves, and every running bead of such storages and even the wall finishes. The last thing you want is your child getting hurt badly trying to reach out to that toy that is stuck beneath the shelf or trying to reach for the game console from the TV cabinet. Not only the child, even an adult oftentimes experience bruises just by brushing against those sharp edges. I recommend a smooth finish that not only enhances the overall look but ensures protection against such possible bruises. Bathroom and balcony floor tiles. Some of the floor tiles are a nightmare to step on when it's wet. Just because it looks fabulous, throwing an enormous amount of light doesn't always guarantee safety for everyday use. There are hundreds of varieties of certified anti-skid tiles in the market. You can also try matte finishes that provide grip to the foot. More than the tiles do you know a majority of accidents take place by stepping on a loose bathroom mat. As funny as it might sound but your little one needs a better tile and a quality wet and dry mat to protect from slippery. Balconies and windows. I have an acrophobia which is an excessive fear of heights and I never lean on the view. But do you know what? Kids love to do, climb on the protective railings of the balcony and step on the mattress to lean from the top of the windows. This may sound scary and it is. Therefore, it must be protected from accidental falls like enclosing with a bird net which doesn't even obstruct your view. And some people even cover it up with fabrication works using steel or aluminium and even glass. It depends based on how you want it to appeal aesthetically but also provides ultimate security. Electrical sockets. The allure of an electrical outlet can be too much for a curious kid to resist. The tiny slots are just the right size for a coin, paper clip, key or pin. If you leave a child unattended by an outlet for even a few moments and he or she ends up inserting a tiny metal objects into those conveniently sized receptacles, the outcome may be catastrophic. Therefore, various apartments use plastic receptacle caps or sliding receptacle covers that can help deter kids from playing with the outlets and provide ultimate security. Lifts. Nowadays, lifts and elevators are common in high-rise buildings and apartments. Though lifts are extremely safe, the number of death and injuries is increasing due to lifts malfunctioning and negligence. Apartment communities need to be careful regarding lift safety and its maintenance. Spend a moment talking to them about lift safety and security measures such as alarms, CCTV cameras, security personnel maintained in a particular apartment to operate the lift. Swimming pool. Swimming is one of the most sought activities by adults and as well as the kids. Various schools, parks, clubs, apartments and many other recreational places have considered swimming as an important health related activity for kids. Various apartments in Bangalore which owns a pool is bound to have child swimmers. When it comes to swimming, not every child is accompanied by his or her parent. As a result, authorities must exercise caution and employ such procedures in order to ensure the safety of children when swimming. Every swimming pool should have a pool fence that is at least 1.4 meters high and should be strong and secure. The pool fence should have a self-closing gate or a child resistance gate. The pool should also contain a pool safety alarm, proper supervision and safety gadgets in case of an emergency. Main door locks. Kids are curious and as you know the world outside your home is not safe for children. 
there are safety risks literally all around. Luckily, a range of child-proofing door locks to help you and your kid. Installing a deadbolt or a locking door chain is the simplest way to child-proof the front door. The deadbolt or a chain should be installed above the door handle and high enough so that even if children find anything to stand on such as chair, they cannot reach the latch and open the door. Digital securities. For many people, safety tops the list of criteria for choosing life in a gated community followed by of course amenities. The sense of protection provided by security guards stationed at all entry and exit points, CCTV monitoring of the surrounding area and multiple levels of entry approvals is undeniable. And with digital security assisting enhanced security measures, apartment complex resident associations are going all out to bring them in the first place. Install a personal security camera to check in on your kids even when you are not with them. Put cameras in every corner of your home to have eyes on your living spaces whether it's your kids playroom, their bedroom or even the basement. I think these tips will help you find the best possible place for your children and family because no one wants to consider these things after they have already moved in into a new property. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Please don't forget to like and share this video.